So, how my cat survives in Thailand on $5 a day. Now, first of all, a bit of backstory. Important. Do you want to say something? No. First of all, a bit of backstory. He was at a crossroads in his life. Just finished college, didn't know whether to go into the military or whether to go straight into university and study something that he didn't really want to be in the future. So he thought, why don't I go traveling? And the reason he couldn't go traveling is because he didn't have any savings. So he knew he needed to travel cheap, but he knew he needed, even to travel cheap, he needed to save up. So he looked at cost of living in Thailand, Googled with his little paws, what is the cost of living in Chiang Mai, Thailand? All sorts of YouTube videos, all sorts of articles, advocating $3 a day, $10 a day, $1,000 a month, whatever that might be. He knew that even at $3 a day, he didn't have it. So he went and worked, and then decided very intelligently to follow his dad to Chiang Mai, Thailand, in order to have that safety net in place. He didn't want to go to the military and be dodging bullets. He wanted to come traveling, see the world, try to get in, in try to integrate with other cats in the neighborhood and have that safety net of dad being around. And he follows, it's a smart cat, so he follows the one, two, two plan. The one, two, two plan is instrumental for his budgeting success. It's all about strategy and planning, but that one, two, two plan has been his success so far in the time that he's been here. And the one, two, two plan is very simply this. He wakes up in the morning. He wakes me up in the morning when he's hungry and he has one tin of tuna. The one tin of tuna costs $1. So 185 grams of dry weight tuna. Doesn't like the oil, it doesn't like the oily one. It's too, mm, moans it. it needs to be tuna in brine or tuna in water. He follows a strict non-vegan diet, which nicely counterbalances my almost vegan diet. Doesn't want any kind of flavor in that tuna, just wants it in brine or in tuna water. Has one of those a day. So that's $1 a day, $30 for the month on a 30 day month. Then he'll play outside, play in the garden, go, go out into the jungle, eat some little marshmallows, eat some little geckos or marshmallows as he calls them. Eats a little cockroach here and there. And then he'll go to sleep and then they'll wake up and they'll be immediately hungry. So as soon as he wakes up, he stretches and then starts moaning. And he's moaning because he wants more chicken. Now he has, a, he has a rotation of chicken. He loves chicken feet, chicken legs, chicken wings, and chicken hearts. But what's really important for him is on the same day, he doesn't want chicken hearts for lunch and chicken hearts for dinner. He must have chicken legs for dinner, or chicken hearts for dinner, and then the opposite for, the, uh, for lunch, and then the opposite for dinner. Super important. So two, $2 worth of chicken legs for lunch on a typical day, and then for dinner, exactly the same. He'll have about $2 of chicken hearts or wings, something more crunchy that he likes to get his teeth into, and that's him. Now what I will add to that is he will only drink this water. Now, if you've ever been to Thailand, it's not a commercial. This is the best water you can have. So we will only drink that. He won't drink tap water. He won't drink the cheaper one, the Nestle one, or the white bottle Singer. He won't drink that because it's all about UV or something else he's mentioned to me. He needs to drink the green one. He'll also drink the silver one or something else, but he must drink that. He drinks about three to four bottles per week, which is sufficiently hydrated for a cat of his size. Does he have a safety net? He has a safety net in me. So if anything should go wrong, when he has to do his visa runs, when he has to go on holiday to islands, because he doesn't like to be here in the city when it's pollution, he likes to be down on the beach and have beach holiday. When he has other extra costs on top like that, comes to his safety net. But he has budgeted $5 a day, $150 a month in order for him to survive. And he thinks it's preposterous that a human being of five times his weight would come to Southeast Asia and especially Thailand 
one of the most expensive places in Southeast Asia. He would come here and try to budget on $5 a day. Or, what's up, mate? Yeah, we're talking about you. What do you want to say? We know you're talking about you. And in between his meals, I forgot to mention that, he'll be in the tree. He'll be in the tree, climbing the tree, looking for geckos, looking for little snakes, whatever he can find to top up his dowry. Heavy meat diet, almost zero carb, and then the omega-3, 6, and 9 oils. That's his daily budget, that's his monthly budget, and safety net.